Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's Ironside video, and today I have some uh, Kawhi Killer AK-47 gameplay in the background going on um, while we talk about the patch notes and everything that's been happening with Ironside since I've been gone. I think it's been like, and it actually has been like maybe two months since I've played last, really. Um, and that's just because, you know, I've been busy uh, doing stuff and with other games as well uh, that have gotten my attention more. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at one of the biggest changes is the uh, servers got merged into one technically if you don't know what that means basically the servers um, you used to be able to choose one when you logged into the game now you can choose which servers you want to match make in before you match make so um, I'll, sh I'll show a little bit of this and then you can go ahead and choose which servers you want which servers you don't want um, and now this does create in a sense a smoother experience queuing um at the cost of you know sometimes you just get placed somewhere else if there's no players if there's not enough players in your region uh, it'll place you with other players in other regions um so you may want to double check this to see what uh, gives the best experience for you in terms of uh, queue times as well as in-game performance um so yeah but if you just don't really care about that you just want to play try to shoot around some things leaving them all on gives you like a pretty awesome time like two two minute queue times and stuff like that so it's pretty cool um next thing that they added was the permanent lethals and tacticals so you can go ahead and actually um buy a syringe permanent now so you'll go ahead and do the one-time gp purchase of thirty thousand gp and then you won't have to buy it again. Um, you can still get it out of crates and things like that, and there'll be a time version, but it doesn't conflict uh, with your other version. It's basically like a brand new item that shows in your inventory as permanent. Uh, the next thing uh, that happened was the season 15 was launched. Uh, with season 15, they did go ahead and of course change the title screen, um, changed a bunch of other things. Uh, all camos have been added to the car 98 KZF and the gold camo can be unlocked for that scope, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then they went, of course, went new login rewards, a new attachment bipod, which for LMGs and snipers. So you'll reduce your recoil at the cost of other things when you're not deployed. Um, so some rank changes, they took out three rank maps and added two. Uh, so gas station being one of the rank maps, that's pretty cool. The new MP and M24 and the new OTS. Now there's one big thing that they did do and that's a weapon balancing. Um, now in the last uh, two years, or I think the last two seasons, they've actually done more weapon balancing than the entirety of ever, I feel. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's just get into the weapon balancing. So the only AR that was affected by this, and this is, I think was the only nerf actually, um, was the Bren. So the Bren was nerfed and you actually get a damage reduction of 3%, headshot damage multiplier reduced by 5, and your maximum range uh, is reduced by 4%. So what does that mean? Basically, you're doing 3% less damage overall, 6% um, less damage when you hit a headshot uh, on top of the bonus. So whatever the bonus was, it's 6% less. So you're doing less headshot damage, less body shot damage, and you're actually, uh, your, your minimum damage comes a little bit sooner, 4% sooner, so pretty Brent took a pretty big hit um i picked it up for a tiny bit it wasn't the worst but um could definitely feel some of that range and the headshot especially you're gonna be able to feel that if you were used to Bren back in the day um next we have the smg categories so we have two smgs that were kind of buffed um one of them questionable but let's get on to the first one and that's the vector so the reload animation speed was increased by 30 percent so it looks like you're going to be reloading so keep in mind that this is just for the reload animation, so it's not the... Maybe it is, they do mean like the actual reload, but it does say reload animation in like on it. So that might be a little bit of a difference. Um, so you're also going to get more range, about 10% range increase. Your spread, so in a, your bloom basically, the more you shoot, the more out of center it goes, but that's going to get reduced by 20%, so you should have a pretty good uh, time there. Uh, sway reduction if you aim down sights, which is good. SMG shouldn't have that much sway. Uh, recoil, you're gonna get reduced by 13% on that weapons is pretty huge. Um, and the recoil kick speed reduced by 50%. Um, not, you know, could mean a lot of things. But it sounds like it's just going to start recoiling less and less 
fast, if that makes any sense. But that's the vector being buffed. Uh, next, we actually get a buff to the P90TR. The all-powerful P90 is getting a buff. The, deg the leg damage multiplier gets increased by 10%. And the minimum and maximum range get increased by 20%. So you're going to be doing your maximum damage at farther ranges and your minimum damage uh, at farther ranges as well. So pretty awesome. Uh, next, you're going to do the sniper rifle. Um, and your first one you're going to get is the PSG-1. So the PSG-1 is going to get a faster fire rate, 20%. So it's like the fifth faster. And you're going to get your zoom sway reduced by 20%. Those two are huge, uh, huge buffs, huge numbers uh, for the PSG-1. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how that changes. Next, we have the L96A1. So the L96, you're going to get zoom sway of 11% and the trigger reset time reduced by 28%. Um, I'm guessing that's like any delay in between when you can press the first trigger, when you can, whenever you finish bolting, you can press the trigger. I'm guessing it's faster. I'm not entirely sure that's what that means, but that's what it sounds like. Uh, but anyway, 28% is huge. Uh, zoom sway, 10%, basically it's 11%. Uh, so it's kind of pretty good, but not that great. Uh, the blazer, so the fast boy, uh, you're getting a trigger reset time reduced by 23%. So pretty good as well. Uh, the chase tag trigger reset time reduced by 19. Pretty good as well. Uh, not as huge. Um, and then the DSR is going to have some changes. So the first change to the DSR is do you get the trigger reset time reduced? But that's only going to be for 7%. That's the lowest out of all of them. Keep in mind the DSR is a big, slow, heavy boy that does big damage. The zoom in time got increased by 15%. So that's definitely a nerf. And the movement speed was reduced by another 5%. That's another big, pretty, pretty, I don't know, hefty nerf for that weapon, I feel. Um, <clears throat> now, next, you're going to have the extended mags unlocked on the VSS. Uh, it looks like eight levels sooner. So you're going to get it um, at level 15 now instead of 23. Um, if you have it, you should have it unlocked already if you're past 15. Uh, of course, the lobby background got changed, like I said. Um, and then, yeah. The, that's about it for the weapon balance update um yeah pretty pretty cool stuff overall um i did notice one of the skins someone else did point it out in the video for the skin preview the blue dragon qbz was taken out of the battle pass and switched for a different qbz uh so um who knows when, when that'll come back it might be come back as a package or an event type of thing uh, but either way those blue dragon ones look sick and it looks like they ended up um, ch switching them out for something else. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, I'll try to get some more gameplays and stuff sooner. Um, if not, maybe some other things. But, yeah, uh, Iron Sight Season 15. Um, it's pretty alright so far. Let me know, of course, in the comments what you guys think of the big changes, especially to, like, the server thing that happened at the end of Season 14, and what your favorite skins are so far. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.